I mean, it's hot. Oh my. I like that, Key. <laughs> Welcome to Common Sense, the game of uncommon sensation. Today, our five contestants will use each of their five senses one at a time over five rounds of challenges. Let's meet our contestants. Hi, I'm Zach Kornfeld. I'm an award-winning dancer, and my favorite sense is touch. <laughs> hey, my name's Johnny Cakes. I like pie more than cake, and taste is my favorite sense. Hi, I'm Jared Popkin. My birthday's tomorrow, and my favorite sense is sight. My name is Joyce. I like laughing in awkward situations. My favorite sense is hearing, because I like hearing all the tea. I'm Marissa. I love puppies. My my favorite sense is touch. Welcome, all of our contestants. I am your host, Ryan Garcia, and today, to help us with all of our clues, we have internet sensation keys. Go eat something! The game will be played across five rounds, and in each round, one contestant will be eliminated. Now, the only thing that you have to do to not be eliminated is get one question right each round. Are we ready? Yes! yes. Sense one, hearing. And remember, you only get one chance to guess per question, so don't waste it. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Oops. I uh, did not mean to have that going. You know, those uh, alarms actually have a name. What's the name of that one? Jared. Chimes. That is incorrect. Hey, I'm going for it. Zach. Starlight. Incorrect. We're playing the game. That's the, I know you, but we're this actually is the game. playing. We're always in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I will play it for you again. Will I lose points if I guess wrong? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Johnny, I think you rang your bell. I'm gonna just say bells. Incorrect. Oh, oh no, I was gonna say bells. I was gonna say something. Just say like something. Morning. Come on, let's all be. Uh, okay, <laughs> Joyce, I believe you rang your bell. <laughs> you let this light that in with us. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I guess my answer would be morning days. Morning days. Rise. Rise. Morning days. Rise. Unfortunately, is incorrect. What? You got it. You got it. <laughs> Marissa. Trills? Trills is also incorrect. Are you kidding me? The correct answer to the sound was ripples. <laughs> ripples. God, I was close. Get you were out. nowhere near it. <laughs> All right, everyone ready? New sound coming your way. Everyone listen closely. I know this. All right. Chimes. Did you say chimes? Yes. That is correct. <laughs> Marissa, you advance immediately to the next round. You do not have to answer any more that's questions so cool. in the sound <laughs> round. She got that right, and Johnny said, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool for Marissa. Most empathetic player award goes to I'm Johnny. Bad, I'm bad at competition. I gotta, no, I hate you. <laughs> okay, are you ready for our next challenge? The next challenge is called Humdiggy Bow Wow. Oh, yeah. We will bring in Keith to hum a portion of a song for you. When you think you know the song that Keith is humming, ring your bell, submit your answer. What? <laughs> Sitting on Jane and Juice. Whoa! Baby. Got my money, my money, my money, my money. money, money, money. money. Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. <laughs> that was impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, well done. Thank you. Well Thank done. You. Now, Marissa and Joyce, you are both protected. We have three Woo! contestants left. <laughs> Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. You know, there's a lot of zany stuff going on and life is always throwing weird things at you that you have to react to and it's hard to react to everything in the moment without thinking about it kind of forever. I myself have lots of stressful times, it can be really hard, and I find that I do not want to burden my friends or family with my stresses. Uh, it can be easy sometimes to pour and vent all of your frustrations into someone else, but that's really not fair to them. A therapist is much better suited and they want to help you through your problems. BetterHelp is licensed online therapy. It's very easy to sign up. You just go to betterhelp.com slash tryguys and you fill out a couple questions and usually within 48 hours you are matched with a licensed therapist who is specialized in what you need. Professionals who have helped 
thousands of people with exactly what you're going through or something similar. You can start chatting with a therapist through messaging or a phone call or a video chat, really whatever makes sense for you. It really fits into your schedule. If you're like me, sometimes you might just want to shoot a message over to your therapist in between some meetings just to answer something that's sort of on your mind. And if you don't like a therapist, you can switch at any time. You can use my code TRYGUYS. You can click the link in the description. Go to betterhelp.com slash TRYGUYS. Or when you're at BetterHelp, you can select Try Guys from a list and you'll get a special discount on your first month. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash try guys. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. And now back to Common Sense. In this round, you will try to correctly identify the instrument which is being played over this speaker. Oh, okay. I believe that Johnny was the first one to tap. St uh, standing. B ba a bass. Incorrect. It is not a bass. Zach, you were next to hit. Cello. Cello is correct. Cello. Zach, you are moving on to the next round. Okay, we are down to two players in our first round. Johnny, Jared, one of you is about to be eliminated in this next challenge called That Don't Impress a Me Much. <laughs> Don't impress now, me. Keith is absolutely terrible at celebrity impressions. He barely knows who any celebrities are. You must identify what celebrity Keith is doing That's an impression of. I'm a celebrity? <laughs> Remember that the rest of you who are playing are allowed to speak here. You just cannot answer. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh my. Johnny. I know. I know. Um, Jennifer Coolidge. Nope. In what? <laughs> uh, continue. You're not. You're already on to the next. But round. I know it. It's, I'm sorry, Zach. That does not matter. Oh, I want to be the star. <gasps> I know who it is. It's a, by the way, this is a good impression. Uh, it is. I want to be the star. <laughs> Jared, go ahead. What is your guess? Mickey Mouse. Oh, incorrect. <laughs> Keith, who are you impersonating? Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy. Yes, I, ju I just whispered Miss Piggy. Uh, Keith, unfortunately, you'll need to do another <laughs> impression. I thought it was a pretty uh, good Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try that again. Johnny, Jared, another impression from Keith. Oh, I gotta get in there and find it. If we don't find it, oh, I how will we save everybody? Jared. Sean Connery? Wrong! <laughs> God, uh, so, so, so I can't lose if I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna sneak in. Here's my plan. Oh, I have yeah. a great plan for you. We're gonna sneak in there and steal it. Okay. And then we'll fight. Okay, I got it, I got it. All right, Johnny! Nick Cage. Nick Cage is yeah. 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 the first! Yeah. Honestly, okay. for someone who's terrible at impressions, those yeah. were two. Pretty good impression. Jared, you are eliminated. And if I could have you switch spots with Marissa. But you know, we're gonna keep you hanging around. I'll hang and I'll And also, watch. you could still win big. Let's take a little trip down to the old factory because it's time to breathe deep and smell the roses. Not a good day for allergies. In our first challenge, you'll require the dry erase boards which are in your podium. <laughs> we all get high on these. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The name of this challenge is Memories of Neil's Past. Keith's just stepped out for lunch. He's gonna have a quick bite. And when he returns, you're gonna have to smell his breath. I hate you. And you'll have to try to guess no. what it is no, that no. Keith no. just I hate ate. You. I'm no. so glad I'm out! No. <laughs> uh, no, Jared, no. all players will be smelling the breath. No. Whether you're in That's, You took or my dinner. <laughs> yeah, I have no bell. Keith, approach our contestant. What the? <sighs> Oh, oh guys, is, is there on the line, Marissa? Wait, this is oddly sensual. I, I, don't, like it. Like it. I don't like it. I don't I like it. I took a COVID test. Here's proof. <sighs> I feel like I lost something I today. Lost, but... I don't know why I closed my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I closed my eyes. Everyone, please be as specific as you think is necessary to win this challenge. Jared, show us your answer. Beef stew. Joyce. Tomatoes, chips, wrong. potatoes. <laughs> That's a fun little rhyme. <laughs> Very fun. Marissa? Pizza bagel. Very good. Pizza bagel. Johnny? 
Um, I went ahead and saw what I know you guys have a lot of right now, Doritos. Y'all on a budget. Yes. <laughs> Zach, I smelled crab cake. Wow, which would be rude to anybody who has a crab allergy Me? within what? our contestants. Crab allergy. Ah, wow. oh, damn. I if I had remembered that, that would have changed my answer. I'm sorry to tell you that the only person who was even remotely close was Jared. But Jared's out, so it doesn't matter. It was a beef shawarma wrap with garlic sauce. I was about to say it smells like my Lebanese grandmother's home. We would have accepted Lebanese grandmother's home. <laughs> <laughs> Keith has gone to cleanse his palate, so get your sniffers ready, cause Keith's eating the menu. <laughs> Keith is back from lunch. Oh. He's ready to share with you. Ew, stop chewing. I'll start here. Oh, why? I know exactly what it is. Okay, it smells like mint though. Try to ignore the mint. That was mouthwash to try to erase the, the memories. <laughs> it's like I grew up working in hospice and there was always this old man after he ate, he'd always like get in your face and talk to you. So that's what that breath smelled like. Yeah. Like the man in hospice? Like the man in hospice. That's what I wrote down. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start with Jared again. Pretzels. Joyce? I put Doritos. Wow. Oh, because he has a starchy mouth. Like, I, I only smell bread in his mouth. Like, I don't smell anything. It's bread and starch. I don't know how else to say it. Starchy mouth. Uh, starchy mouth's Keith Habersberger. Let's go, Marissa. I also smelled starchy bread, but within a peanut butter and jelly Sammy. Almonds in some form. It smelled warm and nutty to me, too. And what so I get that. Beautiful frame. Thank you. Yes. Has nothing to do with the game, but really nice. <laughs> Zach Plaffle. All the answers are in. Let's throw it to Keith. There's an answer here that is close enough because what I ate were pretzels filled with peanut butter. Ah! Close enough, I'll take it. Marissa <laughs> wins that round. Woo! Okay, contestants, for this next round, you're gonna keep those whiteboards, but also grab that blindfold. Oh, gosh. Honestly, I'm known for being blindfolded, so I shouldn't be surprised. Oh. <laughs> the blindfolds are for children. All right, this next challenge is called the sweet, sweet smell of the sea. We're gonna fill your nostrils with the essence of a marine animal. <laughs> Don't wanna open this over the rug. <laughs> what? Ew. Context Ew. clues. Ignore that, that wasn't part of the game. <laughs> Jared, here it comes. Ah! I smell it a little. Ah! What the f is that? Right, what now, is sir, that? Take it away. What is that is right? You've got to figure it out. <coughs> oh, oh, <John. coughs> it's really close to your nose right now. Ugh, I'm sweating. <laughs> I hated that. Oh yeah, that's bad. You may now pull your blindfolds up in order to write down your whiteboard what you think that was. Which specific marine animal were you sniffing? I hated that. I don't know how to spell it. Can I look on my phone? No. I'm feeling pretty nauseous, actually. Zach, what do you got? Clams. Clams with a Z. I said clam with an exclamation point. I said tuna, because that was all I could think of in the moment. My brain is turned off. Joyce. I spelled it wrong, so don't judge me. Archovies. Keith, what were they smelling? So sorry, everybody. It was octopus. What? Lucky you. We have other marine animals you can try to sniff out. What the? What the heck is this? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, you get it? You may now take your blindfolds off and write down what it is you just smelled. I think it was smoked salmon. I agree. Ooh, I think this is the first time we've ever agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute chaos. I said scallops. Wonderful. I said clams or oysters. Did you say clams or oysters? They're, the, they're sisters, so don't even get on me for that. <laughs> Don't I'll even. have to check the judges for that. Uh, they'll say yes. Clams and oysters <laughs> are sisters. Smoked salmon is a good guess. I said Branzino, but honestly, I thought it was pizza with bacon. Yeah, it, yes. <laughs> honestly, Jared has nothing to play for right now. <laughs> the correct answer was smoked oysters. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Joyce. You wrote clams. <laughs> 
<laughs> They're not the same. Here's what we will do, however. Since you were pretty close to right, and Zach was pretty close to right, just the two of you get to smell one more fish. We have gotten into head-to-head -head sudden death. Who will know the smell of this marine animal? Now, please don't give anything away, other contestants. That's right. In front of your mouth. Oh, yeah, I know this. Okay. I know this one. Oh, boy. You got it? I don't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's bad. She knew it immediately. She was like, Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't know how to spell it, though. All right, in the head to head between Joyce and Zach. Joyce, what have you got? Archovies. <laughs> <laughs> And Zach. Why y'all laughing? <laughs> Why y'all laughing? <laughs> you know what's really funny? I graduated college with honors. <laughs> oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. Zach. Mackerel. Mackerel. Keith. What was in there? Sardines. <laughs> the sister of anchovies. Yes! <laughs> That's not another fish. What was our seafood budget? Oh, f me. <laughs> this smells kind of good. Oh, I came very close to a little vomit yeah. right there. That was really something. Let's start with Joyce. I put salt fish. I just went Caribbean. I think y'all went fact octopus. Correct answer: tuna. Ah oh, man, I, that was gonna be my next guess. One more fish. Oh my okay. god. <gasps> That was the last one. Marissa is helping the other contestant. I want this to be over. The roll room. <laughs> All right, Zach, what do you got? That smell I know very well. That was Frisky's cat food. <laughs> and what was underneath that? Uh, maybe salmon. I also put salmon. Keith, what was the answer? It was tuna again. She wrote tuna. She wrote she tuna and erased she it. She wrote tuna and her shirt. We all saw it on camera. That was the last one. She wrote tuna and I discouraged her. And then you erased it Why? and wrote a different answer. Why did you discourage her? I didn't know. Because that was the last one. It was the last one. This is a different tuna. One more fish. Please get it, someone. <laughs> Joyce, what you got? I put cod. Cod, wonderful. Mackerel, again. Great, the answer I, was I wrote salmon. I wrote that. You saw me holding it, Johnny. Yes, but I wrote it, so I should get a point after no, all I've been through. it was salmon. <laughs> I guess I gotta open another can in here. <laughs> you guys got to start smelling better. I have gotten it so close so many times. Time. This is partly your fault. You brought us here, Marissa. <laughs> no. No, we're all here. No. Marissa, no. look at me. You did this. All right, this is the last can we have. Zach, I generally want you to win at this point. I, I, I want to die. Try and find it in your mouth. Yeah. You got it? Mm -hmm. You got an idea? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move over to Zach. We're going to be here forever. Zach, you're going to I'm just going to give a little whiff. Whoa. I know, this one kind of smells good. Mm. No, it doesn't. Whoa. <laughs> Honestly, it does. Remember to not give anything away, other contestants or anybody in the room, because we're not leaving here until one of them write down the name of this sea animal. I put a saltine. <laughs> saltine as in the cracker? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, Zach. <laughs> Uh, archovies. Archovies, wonderful. <laughs> no, you're both wrong. Okay. <laughs> Guess again. It's a marine animal. Hi, right, Joyce. Tuna. Vinegar coral reef. Wrong, both. Try again. This one. Ma mackerel? Michelle. Yeah. Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I'm dyslexic, so whatever. I'll be fine. No, it's not Michelle. Or mackerel. Or Greg. <laughs> nope, not Greg either. <laughs> not old Greg. Guess. Um, yeah, just start saying some. <laughs> just start saying some. Anyone. You <laughs> monster. Otter. Not an otter? Wrong. Say them out loud. Stop writing it. Um, what's another fish? Uh, Archovies? Archovies. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Celebrity Jeopardy on SNL. Uh, I, I'm out of fish. We named it. Pepperoni. Uh, oysters. Closer. Crab. Bird. Lobsters. Seagull. Lobster. Um, Better stretch for this one. Uh, mussels. There it is! Ah, I'm so happy I lost. I want to thank my country. I want to thank my community. I had to sit on the sidelines and watch that dumpster fire. I've been out since the cello. It is so warm and 
fishy. And Keith is gonna come breathe in our Maybe, face yeah. again, probably. I'm having a good time. The smell of victory is slipping away. Maybe you need an eau de celeb. Keith is going to spray the perfume of some celebrity onto his neck and then come up to you and you can just sniff that neck, bring it right in, and try to figure out which celebrity came up with this scent. Are you ready? Yeah. Here comes a scented Keith. I mean, it's hot. Oh my. I like that, Keith. Oh wow. That smells good on you. Nice, fancy. Now the only people playing to move forward here are Joyce and Johnny. And a reminder that you are guessing the celebrity who made this scent. Britney Spears. And Johnny? I wrote Britney Spears as and well. And the answer was? Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Okay, for this next round, Keith's gonna come around. His wrist is gonna be covered in a celebrity scent. If you get it wrong, we're gonna have you keep guessing. This one only applies really to Johnny and Joyce. Let's see what you got. I just feel like this just sounds like a, a young girl fresh in the world. So I went with Ariana Grande as well. I also went with Ariana Grande. Wow. I said Rihanna. Doritos. <laughs> Keith, the answer was Ariana Grande. <laughs> Johnny, I'm sorry to say that you have been eliminated. I'd ask that you please switch places with Zach so he may join our winner's oh, center. I don't get to leave? Johnny, you can't go. Even though you're eliminated, you may still win big. Johnny, you are out. You are the second contestant to be eliminated. Let's give him a round of applause for failing. Zach, Marissa, Joyce, it's time to put your money where your mouth is in our third round. Victory is so close you can almost taste it. This first challenge is called Lube Your Lips. Oh, whoa. God damn it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But since your lips are right under your nose, you'll need blindfolds and those nose clips that we have provided for you underneath there. We don't want you smelling it. We only want you tasting it. I would usually charge somebody for this, but I <laughs> Keith's going to come up and apply some flavored lip balm to your puckered plumpies. Joyce, we'll be starting with you. I've never done this before. Stop these. I've never Weirdly done Weirdly sensual. I hate this. I've never done that before. That's fun. Does that feel like enough? I used to buy this in the girls' bathroom. Not having smell is crazy. I can't taste a goddamn thing. Keep your nose clips on, but take the blindfolds off and write down what you think is on your lips right now. What do you taste? Strawberry. Strawberry? I, I literally tasted nothing. I also put cherry. Cherry, cherry. Oh, with watermelon. Shot the dark here. Wonderful. The correct answer was oatmeal cookie. Are you kidding? Cookie. You're, not, you're lying. You're oh, now I can smell Sorry, it. Sorry, everyone. That is oatmeal cookie. What? I can smell it now. Let's try again. Oh, you got it on my teeth. Well, that's <laughs> considered that a blessing. Your, your teeth are out for some reason. Okay, there's that. Zach. Big bed, Jack. This is in honor of you, Johnny. Chocolate cake. Uh, I did vanilla. If you like getting caught in the rain. Pina colada. And you'll have a pina colada. Oh. Because the nose plays such a large role in taste, this next part of the challenge, we're gonna allow you to keep your nostrils. You guys, stop sniffing so hard. Try to taste it. Joyce. I think watermelon. Marissa, what you got? This reminded me of like a drink, a tropically drink on the beach, um, but like a southern beach. So Ooh. like a mango peach situation. Well, I do declare mango peach. Uh, uh, Zach? It's familiar, it's it's fruity, it's tropical. I think this is wrong, but I, I'm, I'm mad because I, I, I can see it. Passion fruit. I ran out of room, so it's fruit. Zach and Marissa are close while being off. But because you're somewhat in the right ballpark, I'd like you to give another answer. But try being less specific. All right, Marissa, what you got? I put a Mai Tai. That's, That's more specific. Yeah. Zach, what do you got? My go-to Capri Sun flavor, Tropical Twist. The correct answer was Tropical Punch. You got it! Oh! Wow, okay, so quickly, we are down to two again, and one of you is about to fall. 
Is there a doctor in the house? There may just be. Marissa and Joyce, come up to these boxes here. Now we're doing a mystery box challenge. Inside these mystery boxes are Dr. Pepper and Dr. Pepper knockoffs. Sip each one of them and assign the correct identification for each straw. Be it Dr. Pepper, Dr. Thunder, Dr. Dynamite, or, oh, right, one of them is just vinegar. <laughs> no, I don't want to drink. And you're gonna sip each one of these and try to correctly assign these labels to whatever doctor or non-doctor you are drinking. You have 60 seconds All right, girl. on my go. Good luck. Destroy Begin me. your sipping <laughs> in three, two, one, go. Okay. I can't read the other one. Ten seconds, contestants. Ten seconds. Uh, okay, I'm between these two. Five, four, three, uh. two, one. Walk it in. <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> Something terrible is happening. <laughs> We have a tie. No! <laughs> what you wrote as Dr. Pepper is actually Dr. Thunder. Dr. Pepper is Dr. Thunder. Whoa. Dr. Thunder is the real Dr. Pepper. Dr. Thunder is Dr. Pepper. Dr. Dynamite is Dr. Dynamite. Dr. Dynamite is Dr. Dynamite. Somehow you got the vinegar right. Somehow. And also nailed it on the vinegar. I'm gonna go grab a drink. You're both going to be able to sip it, blindfold it, and tell me if you can identify it. You're just making this up on the fly? No, that was my backup plan all along. <laughs> all right, let me. Dr. Blindfold Thunder. me and I... put things down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> what we're gonna do is our tiebreaker is Keith has grabbed a mystery drink from the kitchen. What's in that cup? One, two, three, go. Coca. And <gasps> the answer is? Coke, no sugar. Diet Coke is closer. Ah! Joyce, ah! Joyce! You survived! Every survival round! Why am I surviving? At the end of round three, we have two players. Continuing on to round four, Marissa, you are eliminated. Yay, Marissa, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. And we've made it to round four. Congrats to you both for seeing it through. I, we're, we're shocked in every one. <laughs> Everyone else. You got just one more test. Okay. To get to the final round. Let's finish with a vision quest. You ever heard of a stereogram? It was popularized by Magic Eye back in the day. You are going to try to find the hidden image within this oh. image. The first oh. of you to be able to identify this image will ding your bell and call out what the hidden image is. Can anyone see it? Do you, maybe if I cross my eyes. I've always found that the way with these is you gotta get close and pull back. Joyce, come with me. Let's let's together. I don't want an unfair advantage. <laughs> is it coming in focus? No. No. I feel like I just took LSD, bro. I've done it and it's not like this. <laughs> Cause I see like a bunch of seahorses and I know that's wrong. How do you know it's wrong? Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Seahorses. Incorrect. F you. Joyce, your guess? Fishes. The correct answer was in the fish family. It's a shark, and a shark is a fish. That means that Joyce, oh! you won the final round! Yay! Joyce, congratulations. Woo! You've made it so far. Zach, you are eliminated. That's cool with me. We're now entering the final round. Victory is within your grasp. For this final test, you'll be wearing a blindfold, nose clips, and noise-canceling headphones. You're going to have to identify the last item through touch alone. However, <laughs> you're not gonna to be touching with your hands. You'll be touching with your feet. You will get only one guess, and if you're correct, hey, you're the winner. That's it, go home, you got the prize. But if you guess incorrectly, the previously eliminated players will get an opportunity to usurp your victory in the reverse order of elimination. So you, then you, then you. If you all guess incorrectly, our first eliminated player of the day will automatically wow. win the game, meaning wow. they would have won without getting a single answer correct. <laughs> it would be a senseless victory. Very nice. <laughs> Whoopsie. Looks like I played this perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, it's time for all eliminated contestants, except for Jared, to leave the room. 
Ooh, I get to stay. You get, get out. to witness. Before I put these headphones on, I just want to let you know, you can do a lot of talking while you're feeling your way around there. Talk about like, oh, is it hard boiled eggs or lizards? Not that there's going to be lizards. I mean, it could be lizards, but let's put these on. Here we go. Okay, it's not gonna hurt you. Feel around, tell us what you're thinking. They're balls. Okay. They're it, balls. They're, the texture ball. Right. It's wet, why is it wet? Why mm -hmm. are you wet the balls? Right. Is it, I don't even wanna say, well why is it wet? Like, what, why would you make this wet? Yeah. It's circular, mm. I feel uh, the creases. Good, creases. Get deeper in those creases, what is it? <gasps> I'm trying to like find the head or something. Yeah, find the top of that head. That's what I'm trying to do. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah! Is this your good foot? Yeah, but I'm left-handed. Okay. So I'm left excited. <laughs> Why would you wet the ball? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Apples. Apples. You got it! Yeah! You nailed it! You nailed it! You know, I just feel like a silly, goofy girl. And silly, goofy girls deserve to win, too. Yeah! And you told us that your favorite sense is sound. Yes. So you're going to a concert with a gift certificate from Ticketmaster. Wow! Yeah. Congratulations! Yeah. What? That's cool. I'm coming for you, Mitski. How about them apples? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, it is clear you have the most common sense. Really? That's what this proved? <laughs> See you next time on Common Sense! Now that we are finally alone with Jared. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>